JTC's project manager found the wrongful clearance works on 13 Jan. So my first supplementary question is, is there a schedule for the frequency of site visits by the project manager? Is it meant to be daily, weekly or monthly? Because he, he discovered this on 13 Jan. Second supplementary question, the internal investigations by JTC. I'd like to ask whether there would this be complemented with an investigation by external part. And my third supplementary question is that it's mentioned that a stern warning has been issued to the contractor. Stern warning to me appears quite like, what, what does a stern warning mean and what are the uh, consequences? Is there a schedule? Yes, there's a schedule where JTC officers are required to regularly visit the site. Uh, whether the schedule has been adhered to is a subject of an ongoing investigation at this point in time, and I will not further comment on this. On the nature of the investigations, as I have laid out on Monday, there are the internal MPARCs and JTC regulate investigations as to whether the current processes have been followed. And I expect the respective agencies will want to do a thorough review to see whether the processes have been followed. In addition to that, I have, we have appointed Joseph, Permanent Secretary Joseph Leong to look at how these processes can be tightened, especially across the interagency processes. And Joseph will have access to both the views from the public sector, the people sector, and also the private sector. Now, on the third question, on the stern warning that is issued by JTC immediately to the contractor involved. At this point in time, MPARCs and JTC will do their investigations and subsequent to that, if there are any other wrongdoings uncovered by MPARCs investigations, MPARCs will have the statutory powers to take the responsible parties to task. And the penalties for those are laid out in the respective acts. And if so it doesn't mean that the stern warning is the end of all that is to be.